okay so hi guys in this lecture we'll be looking at the some of the examples on nomenclature of aromatic compounds okay so as i mentioned in the previous lecture okay first right let's write the heading examples on nomenclature of aromatic compounds okay so let us first look at the benzene structure and as i mentioned in the previous lecture that for example there is some substitute substituent group attached to the benzene ring then this position is called just the position left direct left or right or directly adjacent to the carbon atom which is on which the substituent group is attached that position called is called ortho the second position to the substituent is called meta and directly opposite position to the substituent group groups carbon atom is called para okay now let's let us start off with some examples so what would be the name okay before that also let me let me let me tell a small note that would be helping us in writing the ipc names of the structures so small note is so there are two things we can we can we can call uh this ring as benzene or phenyl now when do we use these words so benzene is called only when a simple alkane chain is attached or or substituent to one of the carbon atoms of benzene and when some different functional groups uh halide wheat halide amide carboxylic acid or anything so whenever a alkene or a chain is attached having those functional groups with benzene then it's it will be called phenyl ring right so you will you will hopefully understand by some examples so what would be the name of this compound as you can see that the alkene chain this is a simple simple alkene chain which is attached to our benzene ring so in this case we'll be using benzene for benzene word for the ipc nomenclature only so the name would be ethyl benzene okay but uh, if we use something like this so this is not a simple alkane chain it has some functional group so in this case the phenyl word would be would be used such that the phenyl word the phenyl will be con the phenyl ring will be considered substitu substituent to this carbon atom okay so let us remember this number number this carbon atom so this is first carbon atom as we'll be numbering from this side because substituent phenyl is attached to the first carbon atom here okay so one phenyl ethanoid ethanone sorry okay so benzene will be used as suffix and phenyl will be used as prefix for this aromatic compound so let me write it more clearly suffix benzene and prefix phenyl when will prefix be used when there is some presence of functional groups in attached carbon chain and when will suffix benzene would be used when there is no functional group in the attached carbon chain okay 
so let us now do some examples on it now as you can see that we have halogens which is attached to the carbon chain then we would be using it as uh, how many carbon atoms are there in this compound 1 2 3 Benz phenyl and bromo are attached to the first carbon atom so first like first we will we'll be writing 1 2 dibromo because obviously of the alphabetical order then 1 phenyl benzene no sorry propane ok second example Br Cl NO2 ok so in this case no alkane chain or a carbon chain is found attached substituent to any carbon atom of benzene or phenyl ring so we'll be using the nomenclature for this compound so now the nomenclature for this compound as i told in the previous lectures is uh, nitrobenzene and i also told you the orthometer para positions relative to the substituent group no2 on the phenyl ring so this is ortho position this is meta position this is para position okay so we'll be writing that at para position bromo is found okay at ortho position chloro is found and the name of the structure of phenyl ring substituted with the no2 group is nitrobenzene okay let's have a look at this compound and OH obviously this is again ortho position and the name of this compound is benzene carboxylic acid so the name of the overall compound would be 2 hydroxy or ortho hydroxy both are fine benzene carboxylic acid ok let us look at some more example if we have pH means phenyl ring phenyl ring or the benzene ring this means pH ok CO2H so what would be the name of this compound simply now we would be numbering from this carbon atom as this is a functional group right so it would be 2 phenyl just consider this as some just consider this as some substituent which is attached to second carbon atom so how do you name any substituent attached to a second carbon atom to hyphen the name of the substituent in this case this is phenyl ok so 2 phenyl and we have simple ethane monoic acid or ethanoic acid we have something like this so the name is this is the first carbon so the name would be 1 phenyl methanoic methanol methin 1 ol or methanol
so in this case it would be something like first carbon second carbon third carbon why would why we are starting the numbering from this carbon atom because at this carbon atom i can find three substituents one two and three but at this if i start numbering from this carbon atom first of all the first number okay first of all i i find only one substituent at this carbon atom whereas when i start from this at second position only i find okay okay so a little bit little bit fumble up here okay let me let me redraw it and let, let me number the carbon atoms first before starting any explanation okay the compound was something like okay oh sorry this is cl okay now if i start numbering from this carbon atom i have 1 2 3 4 carbon atoms here so at position 2 i can find 2 2 and 3 these are the number of carbon or the number of carbon atom which are having substituent at its position so there are two substituents at second position so i just write 2 2 and only one substituent at at third position so i write only one one three right so now if i start from this carbon i have one two three four so the substituents carbon position are two three three so i will be picking this one up right so i ho i hope there is no confusion by now so i will be writing that it is 3 bromo 2 chloro 2 phenyl 2 butan okay what about this compound now here also i'll just start numbering the alkene or the double bond so i'll just start putting the substituent name one phenyl ethanoene if i have something like so what would be the name of this compound so obviously this is the first carbon and the only carbon present in the chain and it is a functional group so i have 1 1 diphenyl meth n 1 on or methane on what if we have some structure like this so in this case i'll start numbering from either from this carbon atom or this carbon atom because this is the longest chain so if i start numbering from this carbon atom i can find a substituent at the first carbon atom only so i'll start numbering from this carbon atom 1 2 3 okay so i find that the it nomenclature is 1 phenyl propane to a mean i hope you recognize that this is a functional group so suffix of this functional group would be used okay let's discuss some more problems i have something like this obviously the now the numbering would start from the carbon atom of the functional group itself because it is given high priority so 
the IPC names comes out to be 2 phenyl propane 1 al if we have something like this then the name would be 1 bromo 1 phenyl and prop 1 in if we have something like this OH and a phenyl ring so we'll be starting numbering from this carbon or this carbon obviously this carbon because why because when we start numbering from this carbon OH is found at the second carbon but if I start numbering from this carbon OH is found as th at third carbon so OH is a functional group and we need to give it high priority okay so we'll be starting numbering from this carbon only so what we get is 3 phenyl butane 2 all last example for this lecture so we'll start numbering from this carbon y because this is a function group and this carbon atom has to be given the highest priority so we'll be starting numbering from this end so this has nothing but 2 phenyl and what else ethane nitride I hope you remember the suffix of this function group ok so this brings us to the end of uh, this video lecture in uh, the next video lecture I will be discussing on some more examples of nomenclature of aromatic compounds. Till then good luck and goodbye.